Hey guys, Kamsa here. So you want to be like the cool kids and use your radar to find stuff on the ground. I'll give you the tools to find and acquire targets with the air-to-ground radar. If that's what you're looking for, stay a while and listen. And as always, the keybinds will be mentioned when we need them and you can also find them in the description. For our Wizzle friends, I will also mention if the keybinds are different than the pilot ones. What you want to do first is find the general target area and then build a nice high resolution map to pinpoint the targets there. So let's get started. First, switch on your radar. Bring up your air to ground radar by pressing M and select air to ground radar. I personally always put up the TGP. Radar and TGP work nicely in synergy. So go to M and select teapot. Take control of the air to ground radar by pressing castle switch long in the direction of your screen, in my case right. You see that you have control of the radar when the bars down here are lit up. Make sure RBM is selected. RBM stands for Real Beam Map and gives you a low resolution but quickly updating map. It is a great starting point to orientate and select areas for your high resolution map. The black unmapped area at the, on the bottom is your radar blind spot, which will change with altitude and antenna elevation. Use antenna elevation up and down to adjust your radar cone to your needs. Visu has to use HC trigger half action and the TDC slew controls. Adjust your displayed range scale on the right here. Let's go up to 80. Make sure you have map as cursor mode selected. When map is selected, your cursor looks like the box. Adjust the cursor size with auto acquisition aft and forward. The displayed box shows the area that will be used for the high resolution map. You can also see the current size down below in nautical miles. You can also click it manually, of course. Move your cursor with TDC slew. When your box has an X, you can't build here with the current settings. Be aware that this, there is an 8 degree cone in the middle where no HRM can be built. Move your cursor or change your cursor size until you get a clear box. You can move it out here, you can build it, you can't build it in the middle. Now, to build your high resolution patch map, press TDC press or full action trigger as widow. The number down here on the right shows the time to build your map. So let's do it. Well now, it doesn't look great. So let's build another one. You can go down to the smallest size if possible. Now we can see kind of a shadow of an airport here. Okay, we have our airport, but let's try to get a little bit closer. Can we get one more? Yes. This is the smallest size, you can see it down here. Okay, now we have a nice map to work with. But to interact with it, you have to change your cursor mode down here. Select Q to slew your TGP to the selected point with a TDC press or full action trigger as the whistle. TDC press on Q, our targeting pod looks right there. Nice. Select TGT or target to create a target point. You can use this for weapon delivery. Okay, let's get tag point. To toggle PSL slewing of the target point, press auto acquisition aft. You can get some heading information from the target point with that function. To leave this mode, use auto acquisition aft again. Mark will create a mark point on selected area for later use. And here, mark 1, mark 2. To return to a real B map and reject the current map, Use Auto Acquisition Press. And we are back where we started. Note that your target point and stuff is still there. This is basically all you need to find and designate your targets. Now some more detail about the HRM screen for all that are interested. PB2 on the left switches between STB and PRO map modes. Stabilized mode is fixed to the selected point, while progressive map will move with the aircraft at the set range. PB3 changes mapping type. ML1 is lower resolution and faster, while ML2 has higher resolution but is slower to build. 
down here with new, you can load your previous HRM map. You can store your map with STO for later use. Push button 14 or PPI switches to your PPI map. PPI is basically like RBM, but is in high resolution. You can use also this for creating a high resolution patch map. This is basically where you land when you switch the map mode to HRM manually. Here you can nicely see in the 8 degree cone where a high resolution map is not possible. Okay, since it's so fun to talk about buttons, let's also go over the RBM screen. On the top left you have your information about your cursor like range and Adimus, like in the targeting pod. DCL declutters the screen. PB3 adjusts the radar gain, so you can, a little, can play around if your image is bad. With uh, PB4 and 5 you can adjust the map brightness. Just play around if you don't like your image. Down here you can select your map mode. There are a total of four. We have the real beam map, the high resolution map, uh, and also GMT, which stands for ground moving targets, and PMVU, which is used for navigation updates. The next button is your cursor mode. We already covered most of them. Only left is UPDT, which is used for posi position updates for your INS. And I won't cover it here. We also covered this button. With PB9, you can change the scan atomus of your radar. So we have full, half, and quarter. IGMT will show you the ground moving targets on the real beam map. It only works with a maximum range of 40 nautical miles. So when I click it now, it can't be activated. When I go to 40, I can box it. Okay, speaking of GMT, let's also take a peek into this screen. Select the GMT map mode down here. And remember, 40 nautical miles is the maximum range. We can't go any further. When the radar detects a moving target, they are displayed as a plus on the screen. But I wasn't able to get any uh, moving targets visible. Uh, it can be very useful to find a convoy or something similar. And you can also see the moving targets on your Ribby map if you box IGMT. Okay, I think now you have a good starting point to play around with the air to ground radar. Now go out there and find some targets. Have fun!